Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. And now for your money, we have Yahoo Finance contributor Vera Gibbons here, and she's here to talk about the latest installments of her JOLTS report, which is a record 4.3 million workers. They quit their job in August, many leaving their positions to become their own boss. And we've seen this trend continue. Uh, we've seen this trend emerge and really accelerate during the coronavirus pandemic. And now is it reaching a climax? What are you finding here? Yeah, it's interesting, Jared. So a lot of workers are obviously sitting on the sidelines doing nothing, waiting things out. They've had time to think about things. They've reflected, they're reflecting on their lives. They want a better work environment. They want better pay. They want, you know, a decent work environment. So that group is sitting stuff sitting on the sidelines. Then you have a couple million more workers who have retired prematurely. Those guys are probably never going back to the workforce. But then you have about a third of workers, according to a survey from digital.com, that say they're quitting their jobs specifically to become their own boss. So you have a whole new class of entrepreneurs that includes solopreneurs, full-time hustlers, freelancers. The whole ownership mentality really took off during the pandemic and continues to be alive and well today. I guess there is a question too of, of kind of where these quits are, are stacking up, what kind of companies are seeing people leave the fastest as they're all kind of grappling to pay more to keep workers and having to backfill a lot of these empty positions. Yeah, it's interesting because I, I don't get the sense that a lot of these companies are disruptive companies. They're going to be the next Teslas necessarily. So the big question mark is what does this mean to economic growth going forward? Over the course of my reporting, I got the sense that people were leaving just for a better work-life balance. They want ultimately more freedom. And I did find that a lot of people are actually just following their passions. For example, I spoke to one former nurse who's now focusing full-time on her food blog, another full Previously, previously, woman who worked as a teacher is now uh, following her passions and meet in launching a full-time photography to photography business. So, people are quitting for a variety of reasons. First and foremost, because they want the freedom, and secondly, I think people are following their passions. You know, maybe they were doing some stuff on the side, and the pandemic actually accelerated the plans to go it alone. I'm guessing I'm wondering what kind of success are people finding in their new positions? Admittedly, hard to quantify. We, I guess we could do it by salary, but you're also talking about improvement of the quality of life, following your passion. So any measurement of success there? It is difficult to quantify. I mean, if you look at the small business statistics in general, the odds are definitely against you. 22% of small businesses fail in the first year, 30% after the second year. So the odds are definitely against these small business um, these startups, but that's not you know deterring anybody from actually jumping ship. And one analyst I spoke to said he expects more people to jump ship and start their own companies, particularly as companies put these mandates in place where essentially they're saying, come back to the office or you could ultimately get fired. So what he's telling me essentially is that he thinks that could be the tipping point for a lot more people and that he suspects that more people into uh, 2022 will throw their hat into the entrepreneurial ring. I mean, that's kind of the scary part. If you're a boss out there, you're a you're a employer who's already seen an incredible number of people flee uh, and don't want to come back uh, into the office after this is all squared away. I mean, uh, I mean, what does that maybe do to some of the pressures that we've already seen here uh, in how hard companies are struggling and pushing to keep their workers? Yeah, that's interesting because I think this is not a transitory a transitory move. I think more people are actually going to go this route, particularly if the businesses don't adjust to the fact that the pre-pandemic labor market is pretty much toast. I mean, people don't want perks anymore. They want a whole lifestyle. So that means the decent pay, the flexible work schedule, the ability to work from home. And I find that the, the businesses that are not offering this are ultimately going to lose out. So you you could see more people, uh, you know, saying I've had enough, and they're going to do new things and piece together either part time work, freelance work, hustling work, just piece together different projects on the side to make it sort of uh, you know all about a, a better lifestyle overall. Yeah, and you, know, you got to think about all those workers who are left behind who have seen employees leave, stuck there, maybe picking up more work to keep everything chugging along. Shout out to those guys out there who are still picking up the slack, maybe thinking about leaving as well. But Vera Gibbons, appreciate you coming on here to bring us all that, the great resignation as spotlighted here by Yahoo Finance.